Let me see what he's got here. Oh, he's just gonna go. Why am I playing the London? Oh, this is what Ding did against me. Should have studied. Should have studied it. Didn't. Yeah. Okay. At least I think I gotta go, go Queen A4 here. E4. Why are we playing this stupid line? Why are we get we're getting an end game after twelve moves? Oh boy. I'm probably a little bit better here. E2. Really don't know whether I should keep the keep the king in center or not here. But how to make progress? Maybe I'll go H3 G4. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, and then H4. See if I can go H5. I can also go g5. If he goes h5, I take it. Yeah, I like it. When in I go g5 before? Like now there are very few breaks, but at least optically getting the knight to f3 and e5 looks quite pleasing. And if he goes e5, as he does, then. At the very least, I got some sort of better structure. His his structure is really ugly right now. I think I figure he's still kind of okay because his pieces are really well placed, but it's a bit ugly. Okay, H five. Don't know why I did that. Don't know why I did that. Rook h4. Bishop h5. He just tucks that. Tucks that in. This is a bit annoying. If I go b3, it goes knight e5, takes, takes. Okay, I gotta go rook h3 then. Since I gotta. I gotta put that rook on g3. Can I go rook e1? No, there's knight d3 and knight f4 forking. He's intending knight f7. It's a bit annoying. I gotta go full sad mode. Okay, just trade this one. Don't know why. Just something to do. Okay, and rook d4 is clever. Well, I don't like this. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this just to simplify the game. Probably not very good, but at the very least, I'm sort of. Why didn't he go take the pawn on d4? That was ridiculous. Is he in time to make me here? I don't know. We'll see. I don't think he is. I think I'm winning now. This, but H two I'm gonna I'm gonna queen first and I'm gonna mate. Queen D five and Queen E five is mate. Like, spend some time. Wow. 